Summer breeze coming in nicely at 100.3 Bay FM with seals and crops, of course, uh, and uh, cool, yeah, summer breeze. Well, hopefully there's a bit of breeze around out there because uh, 34 degrees today, heading for that. <gasps> that is huge, isn't it? I think it's uh, on around about 32 at the moment, so we are sneaking up there. This is the health hour of Bay FM mm -hmm. with the lovely Madonna and uh, Madonna's guest, Robert. So next with Rob, we're going to chat about universal consciousness. So this has been a bit of a guided meditation process that you've yeah. been learning over the last 12, 18 months. Yeah, um, Two years. yeah. So I started yeah. with the, the quantum consciousness, and that's evolved to um, the universal consciousness. So mm -hmm. basically, what we're doing is using um, what we understand about um, quantum physics and um, and consciousness as a springboard to go into deeper states of awareness to go on a personal journey through our own personal universe to um, heal our past and also gain insights from uh, what's happened in our past and in our, we even go into past lives and call upon aspects of ourselves and and, and uh, different realms of consciousness to to give us some insight in, um, into our purpose and how we can integrate that purpose and live it out uh, in this day and age. So for people who might not even have a conscious thought about how something, just say someone had a rotten teacher when they were in grade two, and yeah. that rotten teacher, they were with them for 12 months, mm -hmm. it messed with their self-worth, self-esteem, yeah. self-belief, yeah. uh, you know, so, so this is the sort of thing, and I know that's just a simplistic sort of, example but mm -hmm. is this the sort of thing that can take them back there and help them to find Absolutely. how that's affected their life yeah yeah so um, the intention that we set at the beginning of the journey is like what we use to um, act as a like a flagpole to call upon our other selves to spend some time with us to offer us the insight or give us the healing that we need of what has happened in our past right. so um, you talked about, you know, self-worth. Okay, so maybe a client is wanting to look at something that is, they have been given or have developed this message within their subconscious mind that is the root of this um, self, uh, you know, not feeling self-worth. Um, yeah. So we can use that um, intention to see where the root of that is happening and go to that place, that time, in an out-of-body experience, and what I mean by that, um, we see it from an observation perspective rather than being re-triggered by it. Right. Yeah, so by using the, um, uh, what we call the uh, inducing of the trance state within the, the quantum consciousness or the hu uh, universal consciousness, the guided meditation aspect of it, it helps the client step out of their human aspect that, that makes up their, their ego, their personality that they have on an unconscious level developed to survive in this world yeah. and uh, uh, integrate and uh, interact with the world and everyone in it and yeah. their environment. So, you know, it's, it's, an, 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 it's an innate uh, behavior that we have as humans, but as a, um, a spiritual being having a human experience here for a short while, we take upon this human aspect of ourselves that help us, you know, live, grow, and reproduce yeah. in, this, uh, in this day and age. So what we aim to do is go to those aspects of that human condition um, whilst being in an outer body and seeing it for what it truly is. And most of all traumas will, from my experience so far, all traumas and um, bad experiences that are at the root causes of the behaviours and the beliefs that we set ourselves that uh, end up being the root cause of these patterns that we develop in our personality, uh, they all seek one thing and that's to be transcended in some, from something heavy that weighs us down and keeps us in a, a negative attitude or a, a behavior or a pattern in life into something higher and rich. Right. So we can take these bad events in our lives and see the wisdom within it and 
find a way to integrate that wisdom into our life so we can share it with others yeah. rather than carrying it around with us in this lone um, energy. So what would the things people be feeling now? Because once again, people might not have made the connection from something that happened to them in a past life or genetically yeah. or in the womb or in the first you know, 5, 10, 15 years yeah. of our life that's mm -hmm. expressing now. So yeah. is it uh, pain conditions? Is it disease conditions? Is it addictions? Yeah, is yeah. It, yeah it shows up as... Uh, simply as addiction it can be something simple as and you've uh, had some success with addictions with yeah, this process yeah uh, with addiction and it can be showing up as unexplained um, patterns of emotion that have a predominance in their life right um, it's something like that like the self-worth for example and it can also end up with unexplained body pain so the body has this in a, its own intelligent way of letting you know that things are not right and you should be doing something about it because yes. if you don't it's going to show up somewhere yeah. in a negative way and that can be in um, internally or externally and w when I'm ex talking about internally we can see that emotionally physically um, in so depression, anxiety, yeah, panic attacks, yeah, yeah. So pain, fibromyalgia, yeah, yeah. So anxiety, depression, yeah. anger, um, guilt, shame, yeah. um, fear, These that's uh, on the emotional side, whereas with uh, physical things it can be showing up like un unexplained back pain, hip pain, um, neck and shoulder pain. Yeah. And also digestive issues as well. Yeah, I was just thinking, I had a client years and years ago and she had a bit of a scary relationship with her mother who lived in New Zealand. And whenever her mother was coming over to visit, yeah. she would always, it was usually like two weeks before her mother was here, but her back and hip would go out. Yeah. And it always, it nearly always ended yeah. up being this emotional trigger yeah. with yep. her mum coming to visit uh -huh. where her body was starting to implode in on itself. Yeah. And each time it would end up being this big emotional balance around her mother. Yeah. You know, people have, often they just don't put mm -hmm. it together that what yeah. they're going through now might not actually be purely physical. Yeah. So just taking a painkiller isn't going to be the thing to fix your long term. That's right. Yeah, you can put a band over a band over the the sign or the symptom, but if you're not dealing with the root cause, that yeah. that event that holds a belief and a feeling to it, yes, deep down in the subconscious or in the physical mind, then it's going to show up somehow yeah. and wow. reproduce itself. Um, you know, uh, whenever there's a familiar yes. um, event. Yeah. yeah, that's why we, you know, that's what anxiety is. Anxiety mm -hmm. is something that you have a fear of a future of something bad happening because of something in the past has happened yes. badly. So there is yeah. this underlying fear there that you don't want that to happen. That's the worst case scenario. Yeah. So all hands on deck and let's prepare for the worst case scenario. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, that's an illusion that the, the you're telling yourself on a subconscious level, you may not be um, consciously aware that you're doing it, but you've been doing it for such a long time that that's just the go-to response. Yes. So what we aim to do is, okay, let's you know why it might be sh while it might be showing up in your day-to-day -day life, we got to go deeper. Yeah. And I and when I say deeper, we can even be looking at ancestral line stuff. Yes. So with the universal consciousness we've been finding with our cases that we've been doing is that we can heal the past on a ancestral line. So we can go into the um, the feminine side of who what makes up your DNA and the masculine side of what makes up your DNA. Amazing. Um, to give an example, I've helped um, clients heal their past on the feminine line, where this pattern of submissiveness and uh, passiveness has been this you know um, pattern that's been carried on within the feminine line into uh, or into a client of uh, this day and age that uh, they don't really understand where it's coming from it's yeah. this aim to please yes You've got to aim to please aim to please so then they put themselves sacrifice. last and then their health gets worse and yeah. everyone else gets and the number they, one yeah, attention and, and, that, and that can be a, yeah. a, a, a you know, the root cause of someone's um, poor me syndrome or victimizations, you know, yes. why me sort yes. of stuff, you know, but it, it goes deeper than that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've got a question. Yeah, sure. Please. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Right. Now, okay, this, this person uh, can get all these aches and pains. Yeah. 
because their mother is coming over from overseas somewhere. Yeah. Do you tell mum what your problem is? <laughs> I or always say charge her half. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's a very good question. You know, you bring it out in the open. Mm. And, uh, um, when, when it's something like it, it involves a, a, a member of the family, maybe it is a smart thing to do to get a moderator like a counsellor uh -huh. involved. Yes, you know? yes, yes. If, if you were going if to you, do if you, Yeah, if you want to bring it out in the open. However, with the work that we have been doing, we can call upon the consciousness of the mother in the past to um, help her understand what the child is going through and that is a beautiful thing to experience. Mm. And what that is a source for, for the client that is in this transcendental s space and is going through this healing process, they learn compassion. Okay. All right. Well, I, I think I'll probably keep it. Not that my... I'm not Hide talking yours about way. my mum. No <laughs> way in the world. I've got the best mum in the world. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a little break. It's 13 sure. to 12 and we've just hit 30 degrees now in Thornland. So another...